Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this looks very familiar, doesn't it? Well, that's because it is. Because today we are doing, surprisingly, now I didn't say I wasn't going to do them, I just said I wanted to try different things. A tech review! Isn't that just crazy? Uh, it's on a bad camera. There's no logo. I, I preemptively opened the box. I didn't mean to do that. But this is about to the point where I am at, where I just opened the box and here we go! This is it. Uh, no, does it have a logo? No, <laughs> wow. Yeah, no logo. It says, Digital Camera 1080p. Uh, it looks pretty, it comes in really nice colors. I don't think I ordered this aqua color. I definitely did not order the aqua color. Um, so hopefully I didn't get the aqua color because I'm going to be a little bit upset -y, spaghetti. So I've been scouring the internet for the absolute worst cameras possible. I actually had one and I bought a battery charger for that camera. It's a Sony um, Cyber Shop from 2003, a year before I was born. And I was like, this would be perfect and it looks terrible. And uh, it just, um, the lens motor just doesn't work. Like the battery works, it turns on, it just doesn't close and now it thinks it's off when it's on and it's terrible. Older digital cameras cost so much. Um, much more out of my budget. My budget was 50 to 100, but I happened to find this one which was under, um, wow, it even comes with a little case. It's under, 50 bucks. So this is a great pickup. I'm not gonna take that back. I'm gonna take that back. I did not say that. You guys didn't hear me say that. All right, attention. It is normal for the camera and battery to become hot. Please refer to instruction manual. Um, okay. It comes with two lithium batteries, a charger block. This is all for around $47. I do believe it's a little, it was on sale when I bought it. It charges with type C. That is game changing. It charges with Type C. Wow. Okay. It comes with a 32 gigabyte memory card. There's no brand on it. Once again, no brand on it. But the fact that you get two batteries and those ba these batteries are proprietary. This is not going to work with your Lumix or whatever else you're using. But still, it's amazing um, that it comes with two batteries, 32 gigs of storage, and I get to use my 3D printed um, card holder. Uh, my buddy made for me and digital camera user manual. This is if it gets hot a little brace strap and oh my gosh It comes with microfiber cloth now to get to the good stuff Okay I Can tell you right now this is not green or mint or whatever that box was, but oh my gosh, it even comes with a little screw on the bottom for if you want to use it for professional purposes, look at that. Um, still, there are no logos, 44 megapixels, which is so much more than I bargained for for a camera like this. I, I wanted like two megapixels max, okay, no, 10 megapixels max, 44, that's a little mirror. I mean, uh, it's a little much. Uh, let's do the peel real quick. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't think this comes out. I, I think it's more digital zoom than optical zoom, but um, battery door on the bottom. Pretty neat. Neato mosquito right there. I'm going to take some pictures with it. I'm going to get the batteries charging, so uh, let, me, let me get to doing that. It should be done charging by now. Oh, this is adorable. Oh my gosh. The pixelation. I do love the one thing, just before I talk about the um, how bad it looks. Um, I love how big that screen is. I mean, come on. You can't get any better than that. What's up, guys? Okay, um, I love that. I, I plan on mainly taking photos, but this right here is like just about perfect lighting. I don't mean to pat myself on the, bum, on the back, but um, it's pretty decent, except for these shadows you're seeing right here. That is something I gotta work on. Aside from that, it's enough lighting for this thing to take some pretty magnificent photos, if, if, if you ask me. I'm just gonna take a photo. One photo, just right here, right now, ready? Any, any, um, indicator? <gasps> SIM card! Okay, now it's, no. Have you recognized the SIM yet? Hello? <gasps> it took a photo, oh, and it makes a silly noise too. Listen to that. Oh, I hate that so much. <laughs> okay, ready? Now this is for real. Photo, ready? Uh, let's go and check out how it looks on the computer. Okay, so I'm sitting on my desk um, And I'm using my webcam. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit like washed out or whatever, but uh, we're, we're just gonna get right into it um, First thing we're gonna look at is those pictures those pictures. Let's see how those are looking 
Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, to give it some slack, the lights are pointing directly into it, which can like really mess around with like the amount of light that's being pulled in, so that's why you see all this graininess. It's just, it's trying to over, over sharpen. I mean, it is over sharpened. I mean, like, just look at that and look at me taking the picture. I mean, what in the world? Okay, I can really zoom in. <laughs> it makes it look really bad, but I mean, the pixels, oh my gosh. Yeah, that, but that's going right into the light and whatever, right? So next one. This is the microphone, same same idea here. Look at all the colors of the RGB spectrum, very cool. Um, I think it's kind of cool. This is the first picture I took. Eh, not bad, I mean, the colors look fine. The, so when I actually first looked at it on the camera screen, I was pretty impressed when I first saw it. I was like, wow, okay. Uh, this Probably I, I bought the wrong one, but now looking at it on the computer, it really hasn't changed all too much. If anything, it looks worse, because I expected more. I mean, just look at the sides. Like, I was not moving it, I don't think. Was I moving it? I don't think I was. Um, let's look at how mushy the sides are. I mean, what? It's like it's trying to autofocus on my face, but it, it terms, ends up just like blending my hair into the wall. Um, I'm okay. I'm being a little bit too picky, but this is just how I am, and it, this is actually good. This is a good thing because why did I want this camera for it to look bad? Uh, so now I'm gonna take a look at the videos. Video mode. Ready? We are now filming. Oh, I can see the frame rate on the camera. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Just, uh, just, just just, purely off of the screen it, it gives me, that is horrendous. And let's try that zoom. Let's try that super zoom. Ready? Ready? Let's see about that zoom. Ready? It's digital. Oh, but like, that is terrible. Oh, you I thought it'd be the opposite. Oh my Look how I'm zooming into the motherboard. You can't see, you can't tell what single detail. The videos are going to be the best part. If this is how it looks for real. <laughs> it does look for real. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. How do I look? Oh, okay, now we're zooming in on the face. You see my mouth? You see the mouth? <gasps> you can't see my mouth! And it looks so bad! The, the frame rate drops substantially. Let's see how it looks. <laughs> yeah, we just did, and that was awesome, but terrible. For $47, I mean, the video was pretty bad. They cut a lot of the video, like, tech in this, because this is terrible. Um, the pictures look a little better, but, I mean, this is all, once again, I just took an accidental video. This was with the flash, I think. This was like a flash video, but then I realized that the flash is not flash, it's just a light. And even on the camera itself, it, it doesn't show as flash, it shows as a little light bulb. A little light bulb. I know you guys can't see that, but it's besides the point. It's a little light bulb, it's not a flash. Alright, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned, we got more coming up. Zoom.